Okay, we're here in right here. Chicago, Julia at Fuse. Hey guys, Julia here at the Vans Warp Tour, and I'm hanging out with the guys from Against Me. Guys, I'm here at Bonnaroo with Rob and hanging out backstage, bringing you all the behind the scenes buzz from Fuse Presents Z100's Jingle Ball, live from Madison Square Garden. We are all about star power today on Top 20. I'm here with Sean, the rapper whose song Gucci Gucci has went absolutely viral. My guests are brothers, writers, and producers who make up the band, The Nuts. We are here with Florence Welch of Florence and the Machine to talk about her first Bonnaroo experience. I am back with the guys from Daughtry. My guests are My Chemical Romance, who are rocking the voodoo experience this year. Guys, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah. Hell yeah. Catch all the fun we're having and more on Fuse.TV all weekend long. And of course, our voodoo edition of Top 20 Countdown, Tuesday, 11 p.m. What year did Dr. Dre receive his medical degree? 1981. That is a trick question. He is not a doctor. I understand that you got your name from a Wu-Tang name generator? Yeah. Yeah, I got mine, and it's um, Bellowing Rap Machine. Wow. Yeah. That's way better than Chinese <laughs> Gambino. I don't think I could live up to that. I, I don't think I could. I don't think, I, that's a really good rap name. You should I know. do that. You, you could totally take it. I need to own. like incorporate it into something. I don't know what to do with it. You should start rapping. Immediately. I'll, I'll feature you on a, on a mixtape if you want now to. Now, you do already it. promised to name your album after me, and you didn't. So, I, you're going to have to. They wouldn't let me. So, <laughs> but I can do whatever I want with a mixtape. When did you decide that you wanted to be a DJ for a living? Um, I, I started DJing when I was 12. Uh, I started to scratch and perform with turntables. Um, I bought a disco collection of records when I was a kid. You came from kind of like a punk rock influence. Your mom was in a bunch of bands, the trash yeah. women. How did you get into rap and what is it about the genre that you love so much? I mean, just growing up in Oakland, you know, the predominant music is rap music, you know, hanging around with kids your age. So it was just like me having a history of music and I've loved all different types of music. I think rap was something that I could really use to like talk to my generation. Who has the worst celebrity crush? Uh, oh, is your crush on me? That's so sweet. Give me a kiss. <laughs> 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 I've never made out with a toy before. First awesome. time for everything. <laughs> you have a tattoo I, of Taylor Swift? Yeah, she drew that for me. Oh, we had her sign. She signed his leg for him. It's got a heart with wings. Oh my god. But then she loves me. But then she made me pay to see her in concert. It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know us ladies, that's how we play the game. Thanks for the passes. <laughs> <laughs> You've admit before that um, a lot of your artistic creativity comes out when you're drunk or hungover. Do you drink in order to write, or does it just happen? Actually, there's quite a few songs that, I, that are about hangovers. Right. There's a lot of songs like about like just like overcoming things, and like, to me, that's kind of like really just sums up like a hangover. Sometimes you get a hangover that's so bad, it's almost like a spiritual right, experience. Right. You gotta get through it. Yeah. What are some of the main subjects that you explore on the record? Independence and kind of finding yourself as a young woman and solidifying your um, identity. I think it's really important that you explore that issue because I think it's something that a lot of women struggle with. I mean, it's something that I struggled mm -hmm. with for many, many years and still do to an extent. And yeah, me too. to hear it from a young woman is, is very inspirational. So I really Thank applaud you. you for that. I understand that the Beach Boys are one of your idols and you got to play with them at the Grammys. What was that like? What was your reaction when they called? Or did you call them? I, no, yeah, they called and asked us to do it, and we're just like, yeah, I mean, I don't even think we thought twice about it, you know? And then and then it just settled in, like, oh, man, like, we're playing with the Beach Boys. Like, we, we, we you know, we need to, like, start to practice this. <laughs> song. What do we just say yes to? We're gonna, yeah, we just <laughs> said yes right away and then figured it all out later. I just interviewed Steve Angelo of Swedish House Mafia, one of the biggest electronic groups in the world. They throw the sickest parties. I'm gonna go check out their set and dance my little booty off. See you later. Theophilus, you freaking rock. Yo, let's open these doors up. Let's start this party. This guy's about Brooklyn's to throw it down. in the down. house, you feel me? The festivities are far from over. <laughs> it's true, the party boys wiggle their way to number one. Sexy and I know it. You're the best, Julia. Thanks, baby. We'll hang yeah. out later. Okay. Thank you so much. On that note, we kind of have to go.